Hello everyone, Matt from Model Minutes here. Welcome back to the workbench and today let's talk about these things. That's right, cement. This is going to be a little exploration into these cements that I've used throughout my time on my modeling journey and what my experiences are like and which ones I quite enjoy. So join me in this video as I discuss the strengths and benefits of each of these types of cement. So let's start from the beginning. My first experience of uh, gluing kits together was with the first kit that I've built, which was the uh, Airfix Hurricane Mark IIb. And you can see I haven't done a great job of it. It's, it's a bit untidy, there's glue everywhere, but that's primarily because one of these was included in the uh, box. Not this exact one, uh, it was a slightly older version, but I'm pretty sure the stuff inside was the same. The tube was slightly bigger, if I remember correctly. Um, but these these ones you've got here are the actual um, starter set versions. You can get humbrol poly cement like this in a slightly bigger tube, but for what it is, it's an absolutely fine product. The only problem with it, really, well, this this depends on whether you see it as a problem, is that the nozzle on the end here is a little bit too big. It's not great for accurate application of paint. So as many people have suggested previously, you're going to need something like this, a cocktail stick, a, a toothpick to get your cement off the end of the tube and then more accurately place it. Now, some people, when they develop in their modeling career or you know hobby, they sort of finish with this cement and move on to something better. But I, I use this quite a lot because it's quite a thick cement. It allows you to place the cement in a place and it will stay there rather than running down or ruining the paint in the process. It will stay where you've put it and I quite like that. So I do use this quite frequently. So it does have its weaknesses. Um, it's not easy to place. It can be quite aggressive. Um, but it does do the job and for cement, if you've got this and this is all you've got, that's absolutely fine, that's brilliant. It will do what you need it to do. But moving on, the next development for me was the Revell Contactor Professional Mini. Now this one, I'm pretty sure I went out and purchased independently and I really like this because it comes with a needle applicator. But you can get these as part of the Revell starter sets and I've got one here and as you can see there it is it's sitting inside the packet and I quite like that they are included in the Revell starter sets because they're sort of that next evolution in a modeling journey for your cement so strengths over this one the needle applicator makes it really easy it's a really fine needle to get cement where you need to put it the cement in here is a little bit more runny than this stuff here so you do have to be a little bit more careful but the applicator does a fantastic job of getting it where it needs to go you can see it's starting to come out there it's sort of under pressure a little bit when you if you squeeze the pot it will want to push it out so you need to be careful with this and that's a problem excess cement on this tip will cause it to block and that can be a massive problem if this blocks then you've effectively got no way of getting your cement onto your model there are a number of different ways of clearing the tube some of them include using a reamer or a fine pin to push the cement out other people use a lighter and they burn it out Obviously, if you're going to do that, bear in mind that the cement is flammable, so you can pull the needle out of the bottle, which is what I would suggest doing that. Obviously, don't try this at home. 
Um, this is purely for information rather than me saying you should do that. But those are two different ways that people use to clear out the nozzles. But it is a great product and it is really, really handy, I find. But moving on from this, having two of the thicker cements, I thought it would be good to try out something thinner. So a lot of people suggested this to me. This is Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. You can get a normal version, a normal Tamiya Thin Cement, but uh, this is the extra thin stuff. And I love this cement. It comes with this applicator brush. It's got a much lighter smell to it. And when you put it on the models, it just runs into all those little gaps and seams. It's absolutely great for doing that. However, because it's extra thin, you do need to use a little bit more of it. Not much more, but just a little bit more to get it in the right place, to, get, to make sure you get that nice bond. I'd probably say that at the moment, this is my favorite cement, but it does have its place. I can't use this for every single part that I want to hold onto my model. If I'm gluing on some wheels, for example, I might need to use this one to get a slightly thicker or more accurate placement of cement. Or if I'm doing something that I know is going to fall off, I'll use some of this because it will just really work its way into the plastic and hold it in place as it dries. But because I had experience with this one, I thought it'd be good to try out a similar product, which is the Humbral Liquid Poly. It's basically this stuff but just a lot thinner and although it works it's a little bit aggressive and I find that it does leave a um, sort of plasticky sheen it does it does leave a sort of shine like this stuff does here which is not ideal it has a child safe top which which is good compared to this one this one just twists off but this has a child safe top which is a good uh, inclusion but the brush you can see there the brush is much thicker and it's not a very tidy brush it's very like bad it's a bad quality brush it's not great i don't know if i just was unlucky uh, with my particular version here my particular sample but it's not great it's not a great brush so sometimes i find i have to use an, an actual paintbrush to apply my uh, cement using that one but this one look at that look how much nicer that one is we'll do a side by side comparison so side by side, look at that, so much better. Now these are a similar sort of price, three to five pounds uh, here in the UK. Um, to be honest, all cement seem to be the same price. This one's a little bit cheaper. This one came with a starter set, so it was effectively free, but you can get those slightly bigger versions of this. Humbrol do make a one with a needle as well. I have used it on other projects, but I don't have it here at the moment. It's all right. It's basically the same as the Contact Professional, but you know, it depends on what your budget is, to be honest. You can very easily build a model using just one type of cement. It is completely possible. You don't have to have a specific type of cement for a specific type of job. However, I do find it easier if, for example, it's an area where I'm not too fussed about, but I need it to run into seams, then I'll use a liquid poly like that. If it's somewhere I am worried about how it looks or when it's finished, I'll use the extra thin. If I need something that's going to hold it in place, bit thicker I'll use that and if I need something that needs to be accurately placed I'll use this one so on some builds I might even use all four on some builds I might use just one it sort of depends on how I feel and what I specifically want the cement to do so if I had to rate them I'd say this one is a bit higher up than this one this one's more aggressive but this one it provides a bit of a neater uh, finish the brush in the lid is much higher quality so for that this one would be my favorite. This one is a sort of jack of all trades. It works, it does the job, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. I mean, I'll use all of what's in here, but I probably won't get another one. These I've got loads of, so these will be used until they're all gone, um, just because I have so many starter sets, so free glue basically. But this one, you know, if I run out, I probably would go and buy another one because I do quite enjoy the needle applicator. Obviously this is only a small glimpse at all the different cements that are available out there in the world. There are uh, you know, a lot of other products, a lot of other manufacturers, a lot of different versions of this sort of product. So have you got one that you prefer yourself? Is there one that I should try out? Let me know down in the comments. And also if you enjoyed uh, this little explanation of my own personal experience with this cement, 
then let me know by clicking that like button. And if you're here for the first time and would like to see more modeling videos, please click that subscribe button so that you never miss a modeling upload. And as usual, before I end the video, a quick shout out to my channel members on YouTube and my patrons here on Patreon. Without these guys on screen, I wouldn't be able to afford to buy all these products that I use in my modeling videos. So a massive thank you to these guys. And I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome LEA143, who is my latest patron on the Recruit tier. Welcome to the club. Finally, I think the only thing now left to say is a massive thank you to you for watching, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.